Hey guys, it's Marisa. What's up? So today I finally made it. This is this Tower Square uh, little shopping center here. It's one of these outdoor malls. I can't think of what the heck that's called. But you know what the heck I'm talking about. Anyway, I'm finally feeling a little better. So there's the Michaels. Yes. And there is Starbucks. That is exactly what I'm going to get first is Starbucks before I go into this Dollar Tree. So I literally have everything here in one spot. I am here, who is this, Woodside, Sunnyside, Queens, like it's in the between. So what's up to all my Queens people? This is a little bit of New York. This is Northern Boulevard. It's a little crazy from from New York. Hello. So I will be back after I get my Starbucks because I need that baby first. And then we're going to go to this Dollar Tree and hopefully... I can record, you know, I'm, gonna, I'm trying not to record people, so I'll probably keep the camera down, and I'll see you in a minute. Alright guys, I am in the Dollar Tree, and I'm trying to keep this low. So far I found this, I got my pumpkin spice latte, and I got these little containers to save um, paint in. And now, I saw these, I'm going to get these. Cool. I'm trying to reuse any plastic I um, buy. I don't like to throw that away. And I see some tin containers. Oh, the aluminum containers. I'm trying to find the uh, kitchen aisle because I want to. Um, find cool things to pour out of. So far I don't see anything, but let's see, I can use this as a surface for now. I am going to buy one of those mats, um, the silicone mats um, that I saw on a uh, shout out to, I think her channel is Smart Art uh, Materials. Her name is Olga. And I am going to put her link to her channel in um, my description because she's pretty cool. Um, I had asked her what type of mat she used and uh, basically, you know, I didn't know it was a, a silicone mat to save all those um, acrylic skins. But I'm trying to find kitchen stuff. This is the first time I have, I am quote unquote vlogging in public, so I am a little nervous. Anyway, I will be right back, and I'm going to go to another aisle because it's really uh, crowded here. I'll be back in a sec. Hey, so I found what I was looking for, and I can't believe these are all only a freaking dollar. This is awesome. So I am going to get... One of these strainers. This is, looks very cool. I mean, it's a strainer, but you know, sometimes you get different uh, patterns out of it with the paint. And let's see what else they have. I'm trying not to film anyone. Everyone seems to be here in this section. Excuse me. What else we could find? I mean, I can't believe all the stuff is just a dollar. This is why I love this place. This is very cool. Um, hmm. I don't see much else, but maybe this thing. Like a cheese grater. I'm trying to be family friendly. I, I honestly curse a lot in my normal life, but I'm trying to not do that, and I'm sorry you hear a whole bunch of people, but it's crowded in here, which, because it is a Saturday, so you have to expect that. Well, let's see, what is this? Hmm. Huh, if I use this to spread paint with or something, that would be cool. Cool. 
I saw a few people use um, spatulas to spread paint as well. I'm gonna get these two. So remember, this is Dollar Tree. This is literally a dollar dollar. Like I said, in New York, there's a lot of dollar stores that really are not dollar stores anymore. And um, you know, they charge. I mean, obviously they charge tax, but um, they really are not a dollar. Like only certain things, they charge a dollar forty nine, fifty nine, whatever. So, you know, trying to find stuff. This is, don't need this stuff. Um, let's see what else. Huh, this is cool. I can get different patterns of the paint with this. Wow. Well. Alrighty. So, I am going to go over to the Halloween section, and, sorry, they're making announcements, there's a whole bunch of people around me, um, yeah, so I'm going to see what else I could find, but I think that was pretty good, and I'm going to go over to the Halloween section, see what I could find over there. See you in a minute. Alright guys, I had found a little bit of a quiet spot. So, I found this. I thought this was kind of cool. I'm going to pour it in there, maybe for Halloween. Do a little Halloween thingy. A little painting. I thought that was kind of awesome. And I've been thinking about using this. I don't know if this is going to work. But see all the different caps. Maybe I can make different patterns, different shapes with the paint. I can fill the paint in here, you know, and just to try it for a dollar, absolutely. And then, I saw someone use like syringes, so this is actually kind of cool too. Yeah, I am not making a turkey, I am using this for painting. And what else I found? I found this. And I think... What I'm going to do is when I go back home, I am going to go through everything. And we are going to, I'm going to do like a little haul. I'm going to show you everything. And I'm going to tell you how much I spent. Now the lights. Uh, yeah, that's not for painting. That's for me. I love Halloween. So, yep. That is my favorite uh, holiday. So I, you know, I couldn't help myself. Anyway, I will be back. I am absolutely going to go to Michael's next. And I am going to get myself some uh, Artist Loft, um, the premix paint. I cannot wait to use it. I see so many people using it. I did see some um, mixed reviews, but I want to try it for myself. So regardless, I am definitely going to get some, and I'm going now. Thanks to my wonderful, wonderful husband who gave me his card today. All right, so thank you so much. I will be back later. Hey guys, I'm quickly back because I'm, I'm, I'm running out of storage, but I found only three colors. Red, blue, and black. They are sold out. Big time. Look at this. Sold out. But I am so happy. I just asked this girl if I, they had any. She says, no, it's all sold out. I came back and I saw three. So I snagged them. Um, and I picked up some pour pouring medium as well. I am going to go now after and get some Floetrol, and I may just get one or two of these colors for the heck of it. It's only $10 each. So that is it for today. Um, you know, I'm just going to get some Floetrol. Nothing spectacular over at Home Depot. I'm running out. But thank you guys so, so much for being here. I will be back later, probably just to show the haul. And this is Michael's for now pretty quiet here. They got their little Halloween stuff going on. But at least I found three colors. So I'll see you all later. Bye. Hey guys, welcome back. Finally. It has been days since I did the last part of the video. I am so sorry for that. Life happens sometimes. And I have pink hair. I'm so excited. Anyway, before I get started with the haul, I just wanted to do two shout outs. Number one, 
I mentioned it in my other part of the video. Um, her name, uh, the name of the channel is Smart Art Materials. Her name is Olga, and she's amazing. I learned a lot from her channel from with fluid art. So please check her out. She'll be in the link below. And number two, I have an announcement and a shout out. Uh, it, the name of the channel is Artsy Fartsy Lovers, and please check out her channel. I'll put the link below. But she is also the winner to my giveaway that I had on Instagram for my 1,000 follower uh, celebration. So congratulations. Her name is Stacy Nicole. Hey. And hey, Olga. Hi. I know you don't know me, but hi. <laughs> anyway, so let's get to the haul. So I spent about between $14 and $16. And you saw some of the stuff. I just want to quickly go over it. I found these. I Again, I went to the Dollar Tree. And you could put, um, you know, leftover paint in here. This is All these are just a dollar. Um, I got this for Halloween. Kind of matches my hair. So I'm going to, like, pour in here. Maybe do a little Halloween painting with this. And, you know, I spent so much money on strainers. It was ridiculous. I spent, like, $7 to $10 on a set of three strainers. <coughs> Excuse me. And I could just, like, literally went to the Dollar Tree. I mean, this is a colander, but I also have some strainers here. So I got some cups. I got this little, either I could save paint in here. I could pour paint out of it. Um, you know, you have these little holes in here. Maybe this will work. Maybe these holes are too small. But, you know, every strainer is different. Um... So you do get different patterns with the different strainers. So here I can maybe use this to smooth um, paint, you know, like white or black paint on my canvas with this. Or I could use it to scrape it off if I mess up the painting. And this, I just thought it was an interesting pattern. So you could do a reverse colander or you could pour it directly in it. I thought, the, you know, these patterns here were really cool. Like I said, everything is a dollar. Whoops. And I got this regular kitchen strainer, and I got this guy. You know, some of these may come out the same, but they all have different little holes in here. Uh, let's see. And I got this. This I'll probably use to scrape off if I said if I like mess a painting up, I want to restart, I could scrape it. I don't know, like the edge may be too sharp to actually spread paint with, but maybe I could use this end, you know, who knows? Maybe I could do a towel pour through here. So there's all different ways to use these things. And I got this little guy. And you know, if some of these don't work, oops, I can use, um, I'm always dropping stuff. That's just me, I'm clumsy, sorry. <laughs> yeah, you know, if this doesn't, you, you know, it doesn't work in a painting, obviously I could use it in the kitchen. So, like, none of this is going to waste. But the two things I'm really interested in doing, and then I just got this. I, I'll use this as a surface. Because I am going to get on, uh, uh, on Olga's uh, channel, the Smart Art Materials, you know, she uses, and a lot of people do use it, um, the silicone mat. Um, you know, until then, I'm just use it as a surface to collect the paint in. But I'm really interested in trying this guy because look at all these different, you know, this is for obviously for baking. But, you know, I don't know if this is going to work, but on my next video, I'm going to want to try this. I'm going to make a, two paintings on my next video. So this guy, and I want to try this guy, see if you can see that. So, you know, I'm going to put the paint in here and squeeze it out. I want to see if this works. On my next video, I'm going to do two different paintings using, whoops, this is upside down, using these guys. And like I said, I spent, you know, $14 to $16. You know, you saw the other stuff I bought, whatever. Um, that was my personal use, but, you know, to try something new. To spend $14, $15 for art supplies, for the pouring. I mean, I think it's a great idea. Um, I do want to put a poll up here. And I want to see, like, 
you know, if you want me to go to different parts of New York, um, you know, sometimes some places may be difficult to film, but I live in New York. There are millions of galleries out here, museums. I know some places they don't let you film, but some places do, like smaller galleries. I want to know what you think and feel if you want me to, like, check out some galleries, check out some other art supply stores. Um, you know, I, would, I want to bring a piece of myself. I, I was born in New York. I'm raised here. I never left. Um, I want to bring it to you, especially the people that aren't from New York. I think that would be kind of cool. So let me know what you think in the poll I'm going to put up there. And I think that's it for today. This video was really long, but I, you know, just want to get out there in the world and bring a part of my world to you. So if you haven't already, please subscribe below smash the like button and hit the notification bell so you will never miss one of my videos okay thank you so much and happy october i'm so excited of course it's 89 degrees today in new york october 2nd but anyway please check out the two channels in the link below and i will see you the next time bye